Hi everyone, this is Joshua here. Welcome to my first tutorial video about Python programming. So in this video, I just want to quickly show you how to easily get started with Python in 2020. Yeah, the reason is that um, Python programming has come a long way and there is a lot of ways that you can actually get started with this programming language. But here I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you my recommendation of how to easily do this. And this will help you to really appreciate and be motivated to learn more about this language. As a beginner, it's not always advisable to start in the difficult part. It's good when you have an easy uh, starting and you don't get so bogged down with a lot of uh, issues while you're just starting. So this is why it's very important that you get started as easily as possible and when you go you can improve or you can get all the, the resources you need along the way. So what I'm going to do here is just going to um, fire up the browser and I'm going to search for... So there are two things that you're going to do. You're going to install two, uh, two programs. Uh, a VS Code and Anaconda. I'm going to do this both in Windows. I'm using the Windows system right now and I'm also going to do it in Linux so that you see uh, both do that. These are two popular um, development environments and of course Linux is much more uh, recommended by a lot of developers because it's kind of easy and you have um, uh, it's easy for development and I mean, there's a lot of uh, customization that can come with using Linux and so much freedom and plus it's uh, open source. So there are so many reasons that this video is not about that. But of course, I'm going to just show you how to easily get started. And I'm sure that a lot of people use Windows. Most of the beginners use Windows. When I got started, I was using Windows. So uh, let's start with Windows and see how it goes. So I'm going to type here uh, VS Code. Yeah, VS Code and click download so we're on windows we click download windows yep so uh, as you can see i already downloaded a vs code for windows so i don't need to do that right now and next i'm going to download anaconda yeah so anaconda is like a package uh distribution environment for Python. It is good to use Anaconda because it kind of brings everything you need for Python development, Python programming together under one roof so that it's easy for you to just get the tools you need and you don't have to worry about um, how to manage them. And I actually made um, a quick explanation of why you need this and I'm gonna, it's actually from the first try of this video but I'm going to put it again in this one so that you see uh, at the end, I'm going to change a little bit because I think Anaconda is good, but Anaconda has a lighter version, which is called Miniconda. So uh, while in installing by myself, I found out that the Anaconda environment has grown really big and it's now very, very heavy. So it might take some time to actually install. When I tried it, it took uh, a very long time. So at the end of that, this section where I'm going to explain why you need Anaconda, I'm going to recommend Miniconda. But of course, if you want to um, install Anaconda, you can go ahead and do it. And it's just the same steps that you need. I'm going to explain immediately how Python really works. So let's assume that this is Python language and it has many things that uh, has already been embedded into it but there are some other things you need you need what I call uh, packages so the way I explain this is that you actually don't have to you know start writing your code from scratch like if you need if you need to print something to a file you can do it from from scratch by yourself but it's going to take you a long time but some already some people have already written this so say you want to print file right some people have already done this uh, in python and so they made it available in form of packages 
And so when you have your Python installed, you want to have you also want to have this print this print package in your system. And so if you write a a code, you can just do print blah blah blah. Uh, in this case, maybe yellow word, right? And that does what it says it should do, print something, right? So there are so many other kind of uh, commands or functions like this that you would need from other people. And this is where Anaconda comes in. So Anaconda is here. It kind of collects all these other packages, maybe a package to view image, another package to um, do math, right? It kind of collects all these packages, so I have to clean this, and provide it to Python in form of a uh, package everything together yeah I don't want to use the same word but kind of bring everything together then distribute under the Python language so this is why Anaconda is very very useful so imagine that if you have to uh, install Python which I call the vanilla Python so I have to yeah put vanilla here that is Python in its bare bones it still has some of these packages but just the minimal packages that you need then you have to get the package to do math by yourself get package to do image to view image by yourself i mean manually it's going to be really i mean uh, difficult to do that but anaconda kind of does this all together in one swoop and then you can use anaconda to manage that package on your system so th this is the reason why you need uh, anaconda now i'm going to instead of install anaconda i'm going to install miniconda It's the same company, I mean, it's the same environment, it's just that this is a lighter version. So for you to just quickly get started, you the installation for this is going to be really, really quick. And it's, it's going to help you save space because I'm sure that many of the things that is that you're going to get in, mini, in Anaconda, you're not going to use for now. So it's just good to get the lighter version. So I'm going to install um, VS Code install and also install miniconda so let's check where that is yes code yeah i accept yes 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 and let's create a desktop the desktop icon and while that is going on i think i can also start miniconda agree just me blah blah yeah this part is kind of tricky but as a beginner i would say that you should do this it's not recommended because i mean you might have many um different environments but if you just get started i this you only need probably this one environment and so i'm gonna say add it to the path and yep while well, the two <laughs> maybe you shouldn't do this but yeah it's windows is allowing us to do this so yep. good so let's launch visual studio code yeah um we have our vs code here and I'm just gonna like introduce you to many parts of VS Code. So this is the editor environment where you can type a lot of things, right? And this is where you're gonna be writing your code. And if you have any files, so suppose I save, uh, I would say, um, my name is Joshua, OME, follow me on Twitter, <laughs> yeah? You can go ahead and follow me on Twitter, actually. So, Tolua Josh. Also Instagram. Yeah.
Okay, I saved that as uh, bio. Oh yeah, um, it's just a plain text. Control S, that's what I used. So you see that uh, bio.txt shows up here. So this is like uh, edit um, your files, and you can search. This is a search, and you don't have to worry about this right now. It's source control and uh, debugging. Don't worry about all of this right now. But the, this one, I want you to think out, oh, look into this. These are like e extensions that allow you to be able to do uh, development very well. So I'm going to talk about this later. But for now, we can close this. And so let's just focus on the environment. So on, on Windows, if you are developing on Windows, you're going to have to use uh, the command line sometimes. And of course, if you are like running Python program, you're going to have to run it on the command line. So I'm just going to show the command line right now. I press Control Shift Alt key and the command line came out here or, or the terminal. So if I type Python now, nothing happens because I don't have Python. On my system actually Windows will tell me to go and download Python yeah so there's nothing so Windows refers me to say to go download Python but we already installing Python so we don't need this yeah now uh, Anaconda or Miniconda has finished installing so we just say next uh, we don't need this, we don't need this, just finish. So let's type Python here and see if something happens. So nothing happens yet. Okay, what we do is um, I'm going to start a new command line so that that registers. Oh no, still not working. Okay, I'm just going to like close this and probably I'll start again let's try again yep now we have anaconda on our system i can type some command here and it say and i mean it will give me some output this is what most people do right so i say print hello world and it prints hello world but in my experience, this is useful, not in all cases. So I'm just going to end that. I press Control D, uh, Control C, Control D. Oh man. Okay, anyway, it's not working. So and that should work on Linux, right? I just press exit and it exits the Python interactive environment. So let's write our first Python program, shall we? So I'm going to start a new tab here the ease of python is just <laughs> i mean how how easy python is if i would like to print something to the terminal i just say print hello world okay but what you have to do is save it as a python file right so let's just call it hello world dot pi dot py so that is the way that the, the python uh, compiler tells knows that this is a python file and you would see that uh, i mean the color changes because now vs code recognizes that is a python files and it uh, colors it so to run this program i will just do python hello world dot pi and it runs hello world right and so we can make something more elaborate oh you can see some things here this is vs code complaining about a lot of things but don't worry about that for now so let's say print the same thing i wrote there the other time print I'm going to copy this. I'm 
I'm gonna put it here. Yeah, you can see some problem here because they're supposed to be on the same line. And since I break the line into two, it thinks uh, there are two different commands. So I have to put everything in the same line. Uh, I do that. Okay, but punctuation. This is not needed anyway, but just to show you how Python works. Okay, I can run that. Come down here. Don't show me this. Uh, I want you to show me again. So I just Python L word. See? Hello world. My name is Josh I mean, Follow me on Twitter at Toluwa Josh and also Instagram at Toluwa Josh. So this is the end of this uh, of this video. In the next one, I'm going to go a little deeper into uh, how Python works, how you can use VS Code or Miniconda or the packaging that I talked about and to make your experience more useful and less painful. <laughs> See you in the next one.